Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at the Coach Broom Carryall, the smaller size in ivory with brass hardware. Let's get into it. So this bag is 10.25 inches in length, 7.75 inches in height, and about 4.5 inches in width. So it's not an extremely small bag, but it's not a big bag e either. I would say it's definitely a medium sized bag. The exterior is made of full grain leather, which is very luxe calfskin leather. Um, and it is a very high quality material and it has a finish. So it has, it has like a slightly glossy texture, which I think makes it look very luxe. The interior is made of soft leather in the burnished amber color, which I think is very pretty as well. This bag features two longer handles that have a button clasp closure on top, so it stands upright. It also comes with a crossbody strap with adjustments. So as always, Coach always gives options for straps, which I love. However, I personally think the bag looks the best just held by the handles. And I think it definitely gives more of a Birkin vibe that way, if that's what you're into. But the crossbody makes it more functional and hands-free for sure. The bag also features a slip pocket in the back, which is great to store tickets, receipts, etc. The front has the signature C buckle and uses a push-pull button closure. If you're familiar with the Bandit bags, it has the same satisfying closing mechanism as those bags. It's sturdier than magnet closures, but easy to get in and out of, and it just has this very satisfying click. I love this sound. It's like very, very tempting to play with this all day. <laughs> to open the bag, you have to unclasp the button holding the two handles and let them drop to the side. Now, I know some people might find that functionality a little cumbersome, which is very valid. It's an extra step to get into your bag, but I personally don't mind it because for me, it feels like my bag is super safe from anyone trying to pickpocket me on a crowded street or anything like that. There's also a large slip pocket in the very front, which is very pretty thin, um, but it is good for storing a card holder or loose cash. And for how small this bag is, the interior looks spacious enough. However, there are some caveats. But before I go into the cons of this bag, let's see what fits inside. Okay, I'm gonna show you all the different options of what can fit into this bag based on what I realistically carry around. Since the weather is getting nicer, I definitely wanna bring my camera around more. I usually bring my small digicams in my smaller bags, but with the bigger bags, I would ideally like to try and bring my nicer Fuji camera. So I'm going to prioritize this camera first. Although it's not a big camera, really, I mean, it's like, kind of heavy but not like super heavy it's not a dslr it's still pretty weighty compared to like your phone obviously or a small digicam next i'll use a bigger wallet since this is a bigger bag after all now something to note is that with bigger items in this bag you'll have to be mindful of the space up top because of the way this bag tapers and because the closure flap is quite narrow you can't really fill the bag to the brim even though you'll think you can initially I usually carry a small pouch for miscellaneous loose items so that I don't have to transfer every little item from bag to bag, but when I tried to fit this pochette on top of the broom, it already was not able to close properly, so instead I'm just going to take some of the things I think I'll need, mostly my hand sanitizer, a couple of lippies, a compact, a small perfume, a small comb, and some meds. I'll also add a small sunscreen. If I add my phone to the front, it should be able to close normally. In general, if you have loose items, this bag can definitely fit more stuff, but anything bulky that starts to stack up will have a harder time closing. Without the camera, I can definitely fit in my pochette or any similar size small catch-all. Inside my pochette, I usually add liquid things like small perfume, sanitizer, some glasses cleaner, screen cleaner, a couple of lippies, and a small compact mirror. I'll add my phone to the front pocket again just because it's the most convenient. I'm going to bring two wallets, one card holder, which is what I usually bring since I have mostly small bags, and a bigger wallet to hold some extra cards and cash. Both are pretty small to be honest, but I just like having a card holder that I can swap between bags when I don't need all the extra stuff.
I could also add my phone to the main compartment if it's harder to close in the front. It can also hold a small Kindle, a iPad mini, and possibly an iPad Air, but I'm not 100% sure. Depending on what else you want to bring with you, it can also fit a small umbrella and a small water bottle. I don't recommend trying to stuff this bag too much though, not just because of the closing issue, but because the bag is pretty heavy. So the pros of this bag is that it's insanely beautiful in person, it feels super luxe, and honestly, it feels expensive for how much you pay for it. I think the craftsmanship is really amazing with this bag and everything from the construction, the structure, the stitches, the hardware, and everything in between looks perfect. Compared to some Louis Vuitton bags I've bought that were well over $2,000, let's just say for the price this bag is a steal. A real luxury piece without the luxury price. The cons of this bag. Compared to the larger Broom 36 size, this is this one is actually pretty small and although it has this roomy looking interior, unlike a tote, there's really not as much room as you think there is because the top tapers and because of the tapered flap to close the bag, you'll have to be mindful of bulky items and making sure they sit at the bottom and don't obstruct towards the top too much. So you'll definitely have to play a little bit of Tetris to really maxim like utilize this bag to its maximum space. And don't get me wrong, the bag can fit a lot for its size, but you'll find yourself not being able to fill the space as much as you think you can. When I have been using this bag, even though it's bigger than a lot of my other small bags, I find myself putting in smaller amounts of stuff anyway, and I think the biggest draw for me is that I can add my usual amount of things plus my sunglasses, which aren't heavy, but it's considered a bigger item that usually won't fit into my smaller bags. I think this is a great piece to anyone's wardrobe, especially if you are more business chic and you want a business business casual or business chic look for work or if you work in an office especially. I think this is a great bag for that. I think this ivory is very beautiful and goes with any of my casual outfits as well. So I feel like it's going to be a keeper for the time being. However, I might end up selling this bag in the future if I just feel like it's not really working out for me. But for now, I do think it's very beautiful and worth the price. So I will be keeping it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you think of the bag, if you're thinking of picking it up or if you own it yourself and how you feel about the capacity and weight issue. Do you agree or do you have no issues with it? I'd love to know your thoughts and that's all for me today. Thanks for watching and as always I'll see you guys in the next one.